Hi, this is Fabian, Fabian from techstage.de and this is uh, um, a premiere because I'm talking in English and this is the other premiere. This is uh, the Yota phone, which has been launched today here in uh, Moscow and we just want to make a quick run through the, through the cell phone. We have, um, this is an Android cell phone actually with Android 4.2.2, so it's not the newest version. Uh, we have asked uh, if uh, they will upgrade it to uh, KitKat in some, some points. Yeah, they're working on it, but they don't say anything about the release date or whatever. So, um, the th who doesn't know Yota, the Yota phone, it's um, a regular uh, Android smartphone, like I said before, uh, uh, at the front, but at, on the, at the back, back we have a, um, an e-ink display, which can be filled with all kinds of content you would like to have and so you can personalize your own cell phone very very easily. In terms of hardware specs it's a mid-range smartphone. Um, it's a 4.3 inch display with a resolution uh, of 2000, uh, 1280 pixel to 720 uh, pixels so HD resolution at the front at the back we have uh, 640 to 360 pixel uh, and you have a grayscale uh, tone of you have 16 different grayscales. Then we have um, it's one centimeter thick here at the at the most thickest part of the cell phone, and it's um, it's more or less heavy with 146 uh, 146 grams. Yota has tweaked a lot um, with Android because you can do a, a, a various things. First of all, let's start with how you, you um, handle the, the, the whole cell phone. Here you have no, you have no uh, touches, you, that means no home button, no uh, back button. All the buttons are missing, which you usually know from Android. What you have to do is you have to swipe from left to right just to go to the home button. If you swipe from right to left, it's, it's back. If you push two times, it's the uh, task manager. We have no uh, task uh, on yet, so it doesn't work. And if you touch long, it's Google Now. So uh, yeah, you have to. It's it's kind of it's kind of uh, weird in the in the beginning, but it works after a while. Actually, what you can do is um, you can bring on the screen what you have in the front to the back. In if you swipe like this, it makes oops like this, there is a little buzz and then it comes automatic, uh, automatically at the back. And the good thing is there is no power consumption at all. If, uh, if one time you have, uh, once you have uh, done a picture at the, at the back, there is no power consu uh, consumption at all. That means it's really power, um, power friendly to have pictures or ebooks or whatever at the back. Yuta has done six different kinds of apps. Um, you can learn, for example, Russian or German or English, whatever, if you have uh, the learning program here, then you have an internet hub that means you can put in um, Twitter or Facebook statuses and it's then synced automatically, uh, automatically to the back. That means if you have your cell phone like this at the table, you have a Facebook uh, application and Twitter application here and you have a new statuses, it comes automatically, uh, automatically to the back without the need to uh, bring on the, the cell phone. That means you, yeah, you, you save power a lot. Um, you have a, a, like notes here, you have an organizer, which is the usual, the usual Google organizer, and you have a, a couple of other things. Let's uh, say we would like to make an own screen at the back. I played already around a little bit, so um, I say, okay, I would like to have uh, a clock, but it has to be here. I want to have another design of the clock, like this. And then I would like to, I don't know, uh, have the weather or so. I can bring on the weather here. Uh, it's raining in uh, Moscow at the moment and it's pretty cold. So uh, I make it like this and then I hit this button here. It goes to the back. Of course you can make every kind of uh, picture at the back uh, from your own gallery. It's like here you you make an uh, you make you just take the picture and you ad uh, adapt it and whatever, and then it it'll be in the whole um, in the whole interface here. Of course, it, it's not 
in <laughs> in color, even if you have a color picture, it's uh, as soon as it's on the back, it's of course um, black and white. Um, what else do we have? Yeah, in terms of um, hardware, there is a 1.7 gigahertz processor from Qualcomm in here, dual core. You have one uh, megapixel front camera. You have a 12 megapixel uh, camera here, and the little small thing here is an LED flashlight. So uh, not really, really big, but I think it should be okay. Then you have, uh, of course, uh, an, an ear jack here for the for the ear jacks plug-in, and um, here at the bottom, of course, the thing you uh, there is a, like a sensor where you can swipe, and the same thing is on the back side. That means if you you see it's locked at the moment, and if I swipe from uh, left to right, I unlock it. If I push long, you can. Um, the, you go into a menu, and if you swipe them like this, you can um, you can scroll. And um, like you see, probably you see that it goes pretty fast. You have to train a little bit, and this is kind of annoying, um, to be honest. Because yeah, even if I I swipe very very short, it always take it twice. So you have to train a little bit uh, until you're really aware of handling this uh, device. Uh, with the ear ink display. If you hit then uh, long, it goes into your different um, or in, into your different applications like like this. If you are, if you, have, if you have, for example, teach me, and you would like to have teach me now at the back, you swipe, you press long, and you're again in this app. Yota has uh, released an SDK, so um, and would like to find other developers who are developing apps for uh, the e-ink display, and this will be, I think, really, really um, interesting to see what will happen in the future if there will come up uh, a, a lot of apps will come up or not. But I think um, this will depend on how successful Yota will be with their launch. For um, you can have this phone, I think. Even in Europe, it will start today um, for 500 euros, 499 euros. It will come to the stores from today. That means today is the third of no, the fifth of uh, December. No, the fourth of December. Sorry, and um, it will be out in the stores today. So we will see what uh, Yota will do with that. Um, but I think it's a great innovation and. Thankfully, there are, couple, uh, there are companies like, like them who are bringing um, some innovation back to the smartphone business. So, we, we like it in total, in general. <laughs> so, thank you for watching and bye-bye, see you next time.